Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Uh, Going to get into uh, Kurt Walker and Rudy Garcia, which should be a fun, entertaining fight. Uh, before we get into that, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes out for every single major fight. So you had a uh, consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month. Uh, gets you the lock of the week. Gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the world. It gets you asked to bookie anything. It gets you the updated props. When, when the props drop coming over, we'll show you how to make money on the props as well. It's asked to bookie anything. Gets you request a video. It gets you the absolute best gambling advice. So join the Patreon. Just $5 a month. Also, head on over to carnivorebar.com. That's carnivorebar.com. Use promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. Uh, it's on the move nutrition without compromise. It's the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar. That's carnivorebar.com. Use promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. Also, uh, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. So let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Hang on one second. All right, Kurt Walker is, and I don't mean to dump on him or crap on him. He's your typical British fighter that we see come up. He's Luke Campbell. He's like that. He's got an amateur style. And I don't mean that to be insulting. He's very fundamentally sound. He's got good skills doesn't have any power, doesn't look to hurt you, only looks to score points. He's not a guy that I think is going to have a ton of success as a pro at the world level. He can get to the world level, but his, his it's not even a lack of power. It's like this is the hurt business, and he doesn't look to hurt anybody. And to me, that's a problem. Uh, fundamentally sound, stays behind the high guard, great feet, great angles, excellent defensive skills. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a back foot guy. He's got that amateur pedigree. He's long, lengthy, uses his jab, uses his length, nice straight punches, decent speed, nice combinations, but there's no reason for any of his punches. He just looks to score, looks to score. He doesn't set things up. He doesn't attack the body. He doesn't break it down. He doesn't try to dent you. It's just looking to score punches and score punches and score punches and he doesn't sit down on the shots. It, it, it's only going to get him so far. And then when he gets in the ring with a killer who's going to try to break his ribs and break him down and hurt him, he's going to lose. And I keep saying this, and I keep, I've told this to Eddie Hearn. I've told him to stop putting his British prospects in the ring with Texas fighters because they're just going to destroy him. And you're going to keep seeing this. Uh, he, he may win this fight because Rudy Garcia is a good fighter, but he may not be at that level. And there's nothing wrong with Kurt Walker. He keeps the distance really well. Uses the jab. Really nice jab. He can slip and slide a little bit. He can avoid shots on the inside and in the mid-range. He's just not overly athletic. He's not overly fast. He's got decent speed, but he's not super fast. He's not very powerful. He doesn't commit to his shots. He doesn't go to the body. He doesn't commit to the body. There's nothing about him that says I'm a world-class fighter. It, everything says I'm a world-class amateur. And I'm not trying to degrade the guy, but at a certain level, it's just not enough. And look, Rudy Garcia is no push, uh, pushover at all. He's long as well. He likes to come forward. He's not as tight, not as clean with his combinations, but he's a decent fighter, decent skills, quick combinations. Just not a ton on him either. He's not super fast or powerful. Like, there's uh, some similarities between him and Kurt Walker, which Kurt Walker's better. Uh, you know, he's a little bit more front foot. He moves a little, you know, he moves well. He'll come forward. He can fight coming and going. He likes to be at range. Good volume. He's similar in style to Walker a little bit in, in some ways. But he's just not as good. He's more experienced. He's got more experience. He's a tough customer. This is not going to be an easy fight. This is a massive, massive step up for Kurt Walker. The problem with him is he can't really ding up and dent Walker like that. He's not going to break him down with body shots and really slow him down and, and, and break him down. 
he is willing to exchange, but like I said, he's not a big hitter. He throws one too many. One, he throws one at a time too much. That's what I'm trying to say. It's too much one at a time. He's good. And this is a major step up for Kurt Walker. It just isn't enough to win. Probably not. You know, the odds are probably too wide on this. Kurt Walker is an excellent amateur. He's 11 0, two knockouts. He has fought no one at this level. You go through his resume. His best win is James Beach Jr. Rudy Garcia would annihilate James Beach Jr. Rudy Garcia, on the other hand, uh, has a draw at Victor Morales. He fought uh, Merkel Cuello. He lost every round. Uh, he was competitive in it, but lost, you know, lost pretty much every round. Uh, he's got a he's he's been tougher matched. He, he's fought better guys. Um, we're going to look at the odds in just a second. I'm going to pull it up. I think the odds are too wide. Oh, I guess Kurt Walker wins. You know, I do think Kurt Walker wins. Uh, I, I, I don't love the odds on this. I'll pull it up right now for you guys. Here it is. Minus 575. I mean, he'd probably win. I'd give him about a 70% chance of winning. So these odds aren't terrible. $100 bet. It's not, oh, did it get even worse? Hang on. Yeah, it's at minus seven hundred, guys. Honestly, I'd probably lay off this. He's, it went from look, just just in a couple of hours. I've been looking at this. He went from minus five seventy five to minus seven hundred. I'd lay off this fight if I were you. Hundred dollar bet. It's going to make you just fourteen twenty. He is probably going to win. He I, he is likely to win. There's no props. I would take the over. There's no props on this. I would lay off this. You can add it to your parlay. It's not going to help too much. There are better fights to to bet on. I'd lay off this honestly. This is minus seven hundred. I thought minus five seventy was too wide. Minus seven hundred is just too wide. But he's gonna win. Hundred dollar bet makes you fourteen twenty eight. You can add it to your parlay. I think there's better bets, safer bets at minus seven hundred to make than this. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow three D boxing, three D boxing blog. Remember to join the Patreon link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. It is now November first, twenty twenty four, from Texas. To the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.